Hello, welcome back everyone. It is I, TDQ, and we are back in the overworld for a brief moment because I did some things. So after going to the spider farm for a while, I finally made some of these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful scaffolding blocks. And I put a whole bunch of them everywhere. So I have a ton. I've also decided to make myself some ender chests. And here's my scaffolding. Got lots of scaffolding. Don't have to worry about that for a while. And that is after doing this, which this leads down to our mines. Okay. I color coded. This leads down to the zombie farm. And I can show you that like this. And we just go down. And I did light up for the most part, but we've seen the occasional mob come at us. Because I have not blocked off this little tunnel. But yeah, so here is our access now to our zombie farm. And I've blocked off everything else. We can redo these walls as well. Have not gotten to it yet. And they are waiting for me. Because I've been doing some work here. Just to get everything fixed up. As you can see, all my tools are back to perfect. Let me get my controls back. Because I was doing some AFK work there. That's not that's not the one. Ah, that's better. So yeah. This is the zombies. And we did a little more, just a little more to the spider farm. So let's go over there and I'll show you that. And then we'll get to the main event today. So here is the spider corner. And this one's right at the bottom of the world. So this is a bit of a long one. I'll bring you back when we're down there. And here we are. Yeah, I tried to give it some legs, a body. I'm not sure how that looks. I do still love this very much. But yeah, and here we are. Oh, and here they come. They're working great. We've still got a whole heck of a lot of uh, string left. But we're not going to run out of that anytime soon. We should probably pick this up. It's going to be useful. Put that in there. This is our fortune pick. Where is my silk touch? Oh boy. Let me go find my silk touch pick and I'll be back. I gotta block this up. Oh, it's in my other hand. I am the derpiest of derps. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. Before I hurt myself. Away! Ah! Like I said, hurt myself. I really have to close these things in. So yeah, so it did cause me to bump out the entrance here a little bit, but that's not too bad. And, you know, we can even change the road a little bit so it lines. Doesn't need to necessarily be this whole straight path here. And I do want to build some, some buildings for these as well. And they're pretty much like dead center on each other. It is not something I was actually looking for. But we might do one where come in on the side, the building's here, and then we do another one with the building facing this. That's what we might do, just so we can still see them both and access them both. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might continue the silly trend, but we'll see. That's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the nether. So let's get out there. Okay, and here we are, in the heart of our nether waste, where we've decided our central location is going to be. We're going to plop down our ender chest right here. We get out a whole ton of scaffolding, because we're going to take this scaffolding and we're going to put it all the way up to the very build limit. Might as well get out some of the glass too. And I should have brought building blocks, but I didn't. But we'll get this started. Now, can I put this on bedrock? I can. Let's go. Okay, and with two stacks, we've reached all the way to the build limit. We can now take this with us. And put some glass on our hotbar. Now, right now, we're going to be building the roof structure. This is going to keep all the guests away. The reason we're building this first is because we do have to still catch the hoglins. Um, which are going to be way over there, and we want them to be kind of high up as well. 
because we want them to be spawned in when we are using the farm. All that means is that we can't have these guys spawning in first because they'll take up the mob cap. Okay, and this is the top of the world. Cannot put a block down here. But this is the maximum height that we can put blocks. So I'm going to build out like this. Okay. Now we have one there, and we can work with that. So we might as well start this way. And we're going to go out 24 blocks. Yeah, that's 24 blocks. Now this is the first block that anything will actually start spawning from. And they start to despawn quite soon afterwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll give them six. And this is going to be the size of the platform. And we're going to build this out. Okay, and that is going to be the roof. That is going to be the roof of our first platform. Just like that. Underneath that is going to be all the magma blocks. Now, did we bring any of the magma blocks with? I placed them. I did not. We're going to have to go back for quite a number of things, but this is going to keep this platform safe for many guests that would have potentially spawned. We want to have the magma blocks. And let's see, how much glass? I have quite a bit of glass left. After I get another platform's ceiling or two done, I'll bring you back. Okay, we've got as much of the glass up as we can. We did run out for this last spike. Uh, now we're going to use this to make a whole bunch of slabs. I think I want to go with the original granite slabs. And we'll start out with that. Now... These mobs are too high, which means this is the block right here that they need to be on. So to make this easier on myself, I'm going to do this. Now these are going to be the pathways over there, so we don't want them to be able to spawn on these pathways. Okay, and now we'll just go out all the way. Okay, so we have all the pathways completed here. We do still need more glass, but we can certainly get that. now. Our next step would be to go and start putting down all of the magma blocks. However, there's other things we want to do first. Because we want to go out to Crimson Forest and pick up some of those piglins. Well, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can get them to hold something. I don't actually know if we can get them to hold something. I don't remember. But we'll find out in a second. Okay, so we are in the Crimson Forest, so let's not use slabs, because that's not going to work. We're going to basically make a platform that these guys can spawn on. Yeah, you know what, because we're going to have to lure them over anyway. Okay, let's see what we get spawning. We're going to back off. And just wait. And I just realized I have nothing gold on me. That's going to cause problems. Okay. Let's instead try to go up. There might be too much spawning currently below us. Finally, one spawns. Of course, it's one with a crossbow. And some piggies. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys and kill these guys. And they're all gone. Oh, there's the piggy. Where is the other guy? Okay, so in theory it works. It's a lot harder uh, when you do not have... <coughs> Go away. It's a lot harder when you don't have an elytra to fly back down. So, we might be at this a while. So, I'll bring you back. Better idea. I'm going to go buy some name tags and not have to worry about it. So, I'll bring you back after I've done that and after I've scored some piglins. Okay, we're back. We did finally name our name tags. And we've got some guys down there. So let's get down there as quickly as possible without killing ourselves. So that they don't despawn before we get there. Now there's crossbow guys and there's sword guys. We want the sword guys. 
Ooh. And friend, and friend. Ooh. Ooh. I used all my name. One, two. Whoops. Looks like I killed my other guy. But these guys are now name tags, so they're not going anywhere. Now we want to get over to that bad boy and we want to trap them. So we'll eat some food. And we'll make a run for it. Okay, they can't seem to do anything about that. So we're gonna go all the way up so the rest of them will despawn and we'll save our two friends. Okay, this guy's trapped. And it is friend. Let's go get the other guy. Not him. Wait, is it either of these guys? Okay, and we've got the two guys trapped. Let's go clean up our mess and we can go start work on the platforms. So I'm not gonna take away where it says Crimson Forest because I do need to remember it's here so we can later make ourselves a pork chop farm. Because look at this. <laughs> look at the amount of cooked pork chops I got here. All right, now that we're back up here, we're gonna pop down our ender chest, put everything we don't need inside of it. First of all. And we're gonna pick up all of this. And we're gonna see how far we can get. Now we still need more glass for that, but we could try to do these other three. And we're going to mirror the glass up top. Now, if you press crouch and hold it, and have too strong a pick, you can make yourself fall out of the world. Uh, you will not take damage. So that's going to be our strategy for putting these in. And my my pinky is going to hurt by the end of this. Actually, fun fact: don't use my pinky. Use my ring finger. Now, from now on, we have to be super duper careful because these guys are going to start popping up as soon as we hit this, eventually. And we don't want to aggro them until we have something set up for us. Now, because we are using magma blocks, the only things that will spawn here in the nether waste is the zombie pigmen, or the zombified piglins, rather. Which is why we chose this to build the floors out of. Once all these are, ah, there they go. And there they go. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now we have quite a few stacks left, but we have not enough glass to do anything over here. Um, I don't really need no, I'm going to try to recollect some glass and see what we can do about that. I think we might be able to finish this. Okay, and we are going to put this with this. So I can go one, two, and I know where I need to start the glass. Awesome, we were able to reclaim enough glass to do this entire floor. Uh, entire ceiling, rather. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so, next step. 
we have to make ourselves a safe space. And we also have to make a way for them to fall into. So as for the falling part, I'm going to need that chest back out. Whoops. And I put these on the wrong height. Oh well, restart. This is why you don't aggro them before hands. Perfect. Exact amount. Okay, so now we gotta get them here. Hmm, didn't bring any. That's okay. That's okay, you know what, for now it can just be hopper. It's not gonna be very efficient. Oh, don't want to be doing that. That could be very efficient, but it'll do. Let's extend. Send these walls down. Oh, well, they're going to drop into here. Not be able to get out. Okay, well this is the test. You know what, I'll even test it from down here. You ready? Now this collection system is garbage. It's just a hopper. Um, but I didn't bring any rails, and I don't feel like going all the way back. So, we have our things set up. We've got our little collection system. Let's just take a look at it. We've got a stair leading up. We've got a wall and a drop down to a half slab. This should all be enough to keep them in. Um, but we will see. If not, I'm going to die here. <laughs> Thank God this isn't hardcore. And I'm going to switch between this and the sword so I can get the looting effect and hopefully get a lot of gold ingots. And I think I was slow there. That's okay. And so far so good. I haven't seen any babies though. They may cause a problem. They're really the ones that always cause a problem is the children. So we're going to kill these guys. We're going to see if they continue to aggro. And they don't die particularly fast here. We're going to make this faster using entity cramming. But it is working. Let's see what, what's happening because I am still in the middle. Oh, they can't get out either. Awesome. This is free of the little babies. And everyone can see me from here. But this is definitely going to be the setup. I'm going to put some minecarts in so they entity cram. That's it. Let's bring it up. But that's going to do it for us today. We finished, well, we finished to a certain degree of finished. We have one, one level. Um, we would love to do at least three levels, but for now, one level is doing us just fine. We've got some gold, We've got some zombie flesh. We're definitely going to want to bring a villager or two out here to do some trading for the zombie flesh as well. Well, we've got gold. Uh, we've got go. But thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Goodbye.